Hi, let's have a look at this Power Automate community thread regarding send image to another list. So the requirement here is when an item is created or updates, then it should create the item in the list too, but with the image as well. Okay, let's have a look at my SharePoint list. Right, so my plan is I've got a list here called AJ list. So I'm going to create a list item here, then add an attachment here, then go to my list B and try to update an attachment under under the list uh, list B then. Okay, so how do we do this? So for this, I'm going to create an event. When an item is created or modified as well. So, so for this demo, I'm going to say when an item is created. Okay. Okay, let me select the SharePoint list, SharePoint uh, site, and then the list which is called the AJ list. Okay, so when an item created, the next step is I'm going to check whether it has items or not. Okay, so there is something called has attachments. That is equal to true. Here it is. Then what I need is I need to create the new item and also I need to create the get attachments as well. So for creating the new item, that's quite straightforward. SharePoint connector, create item. Here it is. And I'm going to say SharePoint. That's my SharePoint site. And list, list B I'm after. Here it is. Okay, so here it's asking what's the title. So I'm going to map the name of the item created from the first step. Then what are the values you want to map from the previous uh, the triggers? You can ma map it, but for this demo, I'm just going to map only one. Okay, so that's done. So I could say here like rename the same create item list B. I just want to make sure, you know, it's with the right meaningful names there. That's all it is. So this one I can say here when an item is created, AJ list. Okay, it's all good then. And next, we create the list B item. We want to get the attachments from AJ list because that's where, that's where our trigger is. So for that, we can use get attachments so let's have a look i think it's called get attachments here it is so what that should give you is to select again the you know standard site name the list name list name is the trigger which is the aj list because that's where my attachments is currently then the id so we need to deal here with couple of ids here so it's quite important so search for id always search search using the dynamic content then what i want to use here is i want to get the id of not the id of the list to be that is the second item we are creating i want to get the attachments from the first list so which is when an item create an aj list that id i need so then that will give you the attachments okay just going to rename this saying get attachments from aj list again it's good to have proper comments under the actions okay and next i'm going to add a compose which is my favorite action step in flow uh, collecting under the 
attachments we can go and see what it gives that it gives the all it gives the id it gives the display name um, all that it gives it so i'm going to just add the display name here okay you might see uh, okay immediately we got an apply to each loop the reason for this is because from the aj list the user might have uploaded more than one attachments that's the reason it is giving this loop okay so even if it's only one it's there will be a loop so don't worry about that oh why you why the flow has put a loop so that's the reason right you might have noticed here from the previous step get attachments you see the properties i got the id which is quite important here so i can i can map that also we'll ma map here the id put a hyphen and a display name just for the debugging purpose when the flow run we can go and check oh what's id what's the display name etc that's the only reason i'm collecting this so i could say here attachment id and name and that is coming from aj list as well so it's good to have some naming conventions like this i'm going to put the name for the flow now here demo copy list item and attachments just save the flow now okay all good but here you prob probably notice that we haven't seen any contents because we want the contents to you know move into the next one so how do we get the contents then so that's another action step we need to use called get attachment content here we go that's the one so get attachment content from where so that is again from the aj list one so remember it's very important to put some names here okay next here that's my trigger yeah the aj list is my trigger when the item is created okay so far so good then the list name the list name the get attachments where it is coming from again it's from the aj list from the trigger okay here we go that's the id i said so which the id of the list uh, item the file is attached to that means my trigger again so search for the id again look for so i have given some meaningful name so it's you know it's easy to identify now the id when an item is created that's the id we want to use it here here we go then see another id it is after the file identifier of the attachment we got that from the previous step get attachments from the aj list this given this has given the id here see that id that's the one we, we are after so we want the file identifier of the attachment again search under the dynamic content and um, look for the that connector name get attachments from list that has the id there here we go so one with the capital I and capital I and capital D, one with the capital I with the small d. So there is a difference there, see that. Okay, so that's why I said earlier, the IDs are very important here. Otherwise, you know, it can go wrong. So we got the attachment now. Now what we need to do next is, we are going to say add that attachment. Here it is. Okay, so where we, where we want to add the attachment? From the new list the second list so my second list is called list to be actually here it is okay now um, I'm going to select the SharePoint then the list name is list B again okay another ID so remember we we are going to attach this under the list B so what we are after here is the ID of the list to be actually so when an item is created in list b so that's we want to see where is the id so get it not that when an item is created no that's the trigger what's the next one create item list b here it is that's someone i am after okay that's item um, the id there uh, then the file name okay so where we got the uh, name then just search for name you'll get that so you can see get attachments uh, from AJ list that given that give you the name then under the content of the file so get attachment contents from AJ list the previous step that only gives you the attachment content so I'm going to map that also that attachment content here it is so 
that's going to add the attachment list B also there by attachments to the list B okay I believe we finished the flow so let's save this okay that's done so I'm going to trigger now remember my trigger is AJ list so just go back there is there are no run set so this is my AJ list I'm going to create a new item Uh, just call it demo uh, list item attachment and um, I'm going to click on the add attachments selecting my picture there save okay it's saved now so let's have a look here it is and just double click and open it just to make sure that that's there okay that's attachment that is there here it is that's my attachment okay all good hopefully my flow should trigger now let's see okay so it looks like my flow has run successfully let's have a look the flow run so okay so has attachments that condition is true now um, it created the list B item it got the you know getting the attachments from AJ list you can see from the body that then the next step we know it's only one attachment there that's why that's a loop it's only one of one and that shows my list attachment ID and the name there you can see that and then getting the attachment and add the attachment under the list B then okay so it looks like that's done Let's, let's go back to list B and have a look. So that's my list B. Yes, I can see the record created successfully. Let's open that. Okay, and I can see there is an attachment there. So just click, click the attachment. Here it is. That's the file it's been created in another list also. okay so just to make sure that you know you need you need to use the right IDs here that's very crucial and then couple of action steps such as get attachments from a list get an attachment content from a list add attachment to a list so these are the uh, main action steps you need to use for this flow okay that concludes the flow and hopefully this is helpful Thank you for watching.